What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today when it comes to older iPhones like the iPhone X, the iPhone 8 series, if you aren't on the latest iOS 17, Apple released iOS 16.7.7 and this update is here well, according to Apple and it introduces 21 new emojis and includes other enhancements, bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone. So some of those changes are what are carried over in order to support Unicode standard, the latest. So these will be able to be used in messages and then once you update your other messaging application and social media applications as well your recipients once they update they will be able to see those so some of those emojis you'll be able to see but just to show you the update that you see here it's pretty small and it comes in at 141.8 megabytes i actually downloaded two different separate files just to show you so you can see it's pretty much this is the average 140 40 megabytes or if you want to be specific 141.8 megabytes and just to show you the build number here because this is not an actual device that's on this version you can see here the build that you can expect is 20H330 so just an increment of a few number on the last two digits there from the previous version now I have many devices right here as you can see Unfortunately, I couldn't find my iPhone 8 and iPhone X as well. So if you are curious to know which devices get this update, you can see here, these are going to be the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, the iPhone X. And then if you're on iPad, because uh, you know, this is iPad OS 16.7.7 that Apple released alongside this, the iPad fifth generation, the iPad Pro 9.7 inch and iPad Pro 12.9 inch first generation. And this came out today because you can see the date right here. So if you have these devices, then you'll be able to update your devices. And if you don't have these devices and you actually like the older version of iOS that Apple has basically been releasing and you don't want to go to 17, perhaps because of some bugs and issues, well, I'll be happy to let you know that you can still do that if you haven't updated to the latest iOS version. So this is the iPhone XR and I uh, just want to show you something here because I used to be on iOS 16, but for some reason I left I let my phone update automatically in the background, but you can see here when I go to the update, because I'm already on iOS 17, and if we go to about right here, you can see the version that I'm on is 17.1.2. And just to show you here, if you didn't know, Apple recently released iOS 17.4.1, and you can see it right here on my device, it comes in at 1.8 three gigs but the reason i'm showing you this phone is that it used to be on ios 16 but when i went to apple's website to try and downgrade it the ipsw file is no longer being signed for the iphone xr so if you have an xr or an iphone that supports ios 17 and you haven't yet updated it to ios 17 if it's still on ios 16 then yes you will still be able to see this old update of ios 16.7.7 and it's going to show alongside this it's going to show like other versions under this tab so if you have an iphone that supports ios 17 and you haven't updated it but as you can see here with this update it introduces two new 21 new emojis and has to do with other enhancements that apple won't disclose at this point in time because you see here when it comes to the apple security page let's just refresh it so that we know that we're current right here but you can see that details are coming soon and i think the reason why apple is doing this for this device is because they only released iOS 17.4.1. There's no watchOS, there's no macOS, there's no other versions related to the point one update of what we have currently. So maybe that's why they are holding on to the details right here. Sometimes this page would say there's no CVE entries, but right here you can see they changed that wording to say 
details are coming soon. Same with iOS 16.7.1. Another change that's here with this iOS 16.7.7 that Apple released today is a change for developers basically where they can report bugs using the feedback assistant application. So that feedback application looks like this and it's mainly available for those that do beta testing but it's good to see that Apple has added these and of course not forgetting the emojis that were sort of there if you're on older iOS devices this came around with iOS 16.4 so that's basically what carries over in the same release notes that they seem to be referring at this point in time but if you want to update or if you want to be specific about the Apple security releases and what this update fixes then just hold on a little bit and this page will be updated and it will reflect what's current but other than that this is how this update came in it's very minor and it's more of a bug fix and stability update so that's about it for me maybe i'll get a phone that can support maybe like the iphone 8 or x pretty soon so that i you know do pretty good coverage because i'm covering all the way to ios 15 because this is the iphone 6s but unfortunately today apple didn't release any ios 615 update they we are still on ios 15.8.2 here so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace